I've loved I love this old vaudeville expression that uh, laughter is the shortest distance between two people. Um, this idea that I think when uh, I, I, I there are a lot of different varieties of humor. Yeah. And um, and I've learned over time that some are appropriate in certain environments and some aren't. And they're all they're all innately human. I mean, they're all parts of the human experience. But I, I, I came across um, an academic a few years ago who broke up four primary types of humor that really helped me think about it. And they were they were kind of they were kind of laid out on um, a little bit of like an empathy scale. Like there's an aggressive form of humor, kind of a shock jock, shock comedian. And that can be funny in certain contexts. But then there's, you know, it's kind of laughing at someone. And then there's a laughing with someone, you know, scale. So I, I think about that scale. And then I also think about whether it's outward focused or inward focused, like is it towards something else or, or is it laughing at myself or laughing with others? The laughing with others model of humor, that little quarter, uh, is the one I realized I really sparked to the most naturally. It's sort of a collective um, kind of laughing together. Um, the academics call it affiliative humor. And so I tend to focus there because I, there's a real bonding effect that can happen when, when a group is going through something together, some kind of experience. And humor often comes from, through some sort of a pain point, something that's kind of not quite working. Uh, if you can laugh at it together, it can be really cathartic. It's bonding. Um, that came naturally for me because I was starting this as like working in General Mills and with a marketing team. Yeah. And I used to send out the cartoons um, in the workday. Um, and so I would be in a floor and I would hit send and it might relate to something we'd all been going through the previous week. And suddenly, um, like people would get the email and then I occasionally like people would like pop their heads up and want to talk about it. Um, a friend of mine described it as uh, as prairie dogging, kind of like prairie dogs sticking their heads out. <laughs> yeah. Of the oh, me a cat yeah. And I always, yeah, I always like that analogy because it, it was a, it was a collective thing. It was, there was a bonding aspect to it. So that my, my sense of humor through my cartoons was kind of linked with that experience. And I find that now that's what I look for. I want to, I, I love it when people write me a note and say that it feels like I'm spying on them at work because it makes me feel like we're all going through something <laughs> together. And if there's, for me, if there's ever a butt of the joke, it's usually me. It's usually something I've gone through. Like I'm struggling how to make sense of AI or I'm struggling, like, you know, I don't understand NFTs and why is everybody talking about it all the time? Things like that come up and it's something that I'm struggling with. And then I draw a cartoon about it and people come back and say, oh yeah, that's funny. Or this is what I'm going through. And there's something collective, collective about it. So that's, that's, I don't have a definition of humor per se, but that's where I tend to steer uh, is that type of direction. And the other aspect of that that I really like is that um, humor can help us hold up a mirror to things that might be hard to talk about another way. Like I find that sometimes something will go along and go, will be happening in society or in our workplace and we all notice it, but we don't really have a way to talk about it. Because if sometimes it can, if you just bring it up, it can be seen as too aggressive or we we don't want to rock the boat or whatever. And I find that humor can give us a little bit of permission to, to do that. So that's the other aspect I, I like. There's a bit of a, there's a it's, a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good, I think it's a good tool in any sort of leadership kind of business environment if we use it appropriately. Um, but it's often under underappreciated in work, I think.